How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we have the player who won consecutive, yes back to back, Ballon d'Ors. It is the Dutch striker, one of the strikers of his generation, if not the striker of his generation, Marco van Basten. We're going to review him today and see how effective he is in FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. So lads, if you do enjoy, and I've got to say, this review was requested a hell of a lot. So guys, if you do enjoy, smash a like on it. Let's aim for 1,000 likes for Van Basten. And if you are new to the channel, drop a subscription as well. And click that little bell too to be notified of future uploads upon the channel. So you can see him in CDM right now. He's in a less than a defensive midfield position. But in game, he goes to a striker in a 4-2. 3 Warner and he plays as a lone striker. He would play well in a two striker formation, but I wanted to test him out to the fullest of his abilities by himself. So, lads. Let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. And as you can see, as, as you would have been able to tell from the very start of this review, his price at the top left and top right is very, very high. But you'd expect that from a prime icon on this game. For any prime icon, they are normally 1 million plus. So his price on the Xbox is 1.3 to 1.4. On the PlayStation, it's 1.4 to 1.5. So a little bit more on the PlayStation console. He played 10 games for me in total, scoring eight times and getting the free assist. So he did have a higher goal contribution per game. But I did expect a little bit more of the goals because he's a goal scoring machine on this game When he was in game and he did get the chance he went in the back of the net and his positioning was fantastic So I can't really explain that goal scoring contribution towards the games that he did play but in terms of stats I mean what's there to explain outstanding outstanding stats from the pace of 83 that might not look too great but that's all you need on this game 80 plus is good enough for me he's got 81 acceleration 85 sprint speed fan bloody tastic the shooting category is one of the best shooting categories i've seen on this game not only his like long shots at 88 which is quite high his volleys are 98. If you remember this guy from his memorable volley for the Netherlands, you know what I mean. 98 volleys. He's got 94 shot power, 97 finishing, and 96 attacking positioning. In terms of dribbling, again, it's not too bad with the 86 agility. Uh, 74 balance is very low, and it does affect the card in certain ways. And I'll explain my theory behind that once we do get in the game. Uh, reaction is 95, ball control 93, dribbling is 88, and the composure is 92. The head accuracy is 90, the jumping is 85, and again, the jumping for someone that is 6 foot 2 is very bloody good. And in the air, he wins the majority of his headers, as you see the stats there in the background in terms of his playing career. And so, the strength was 82 as well. The stamina, it was only 78. And in terms of stamina with this card, it does play a difference towards the back end of games. And like I said with the volleys as well, flick, flick, scissor kick, back of the net, lads. Easy as you like, because this guy's volleys are possibly the best volleys I've used on this game in terms of accuracy. Because every time we took aim with the volley, Van Basten found the net. It's just crazy. I know his volleys are very good in real life, or they were very good in real life, but that is just... Wow, sublime. And I know on this game you can score some amazing volleys from time to time, but with Van Basten, uh, just makes it look so effortless. It's great. And in terms of long shots, I mean, what? What? It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't make sense that his long shot stat is 88. Even though that's very high, it feels like it's 98. It is very overpowered on this game. So if you ever get a sighter of gold, Van Basten, uh, take the bloody shot. Whether it be from outside the area, inside the area, on the volley, hell, with his arse, it will go into the back of the net. That was a cracking strike there from Van, uh, Van Basten? Van Basten? That would be a hell of a name. But Van Basten, uh, what a strike, man. What a strike. As Hazard receives it on the left, plays it down the line to Marco Royce. Look at Van Basten's movement in the middle. He's making the right run. He's kind of halts himself. That's another exceptional finish on the sideway bicycle kick from Van Basten. So in terms of the pros and lads, let's just hop into those. The shot power, nuts. It is absolutely nuts. And to give him a chance, it will it'll get blasted in the back of the net. The net will get took off the hinges because he hits it with a lot of power. The bicycle kick there, it wasn't hit with too much power. It was more hit with accuracy. But um, yeah, normally it's uh, tinged with power with the 94 shot power that he does possess as again he receives on the edge and that's a great save from the goalkeeper but on the follow-up from the corner he will score a header in the air he is dominant he wins nearly every single header and again if he's in front of goal it's going to go back to the net every single time basically what i'm trying to say is this guy in front of goal is one of the best on the game i'm not saying that lightly whatsoever i know he's a 93 rated icon prime icon 
At the same time, he's finishing his... It's, it's a delic, man. It is just so nice. It's so nice. It's so untouched. It's just beautiful. Every single time he takes aim, back of the bloody net. His volleys are just crazy. You've already seen that. The 98 volleys that he's got is fan-bloody-tastic. In terms of long shots, he can bang them from range. He can bang them in the air. He can bang them wherever the hell he pleases, man. He's a great finisher of the ball in this game. And, of course, hidden is in there as well. So, you've got all the attributes for finishing on this game. Shot power, volleys, long shots finishing in general and the hidden as well all attributes to be a great finisher but with that you need to get in positions to score the goal van basten he does that as well he does that as well look at this on the edge of the area in space back in that left foot again to the top corner and i've got to say his left foot a four star weak foot there is nothing wrong with that now there's one thing that you might pick up on in terms of skill moves and it is three star skills some of you may say it's not four star it's not good enough look at luis suarez man suarez is a mean finisher on this game give him a chance he's gonna score that's what you want out strikers at the end of the day you don't want all the fancy stuff and stuff like that yes it's gonna enhance your your playing abilities and your your playing experience but at the same time what's this strike that is in the background it's not gonna enhance his goal scoring record it won't, uh, but um, yeah, he's a great finish in front of goal, and in terms of the, the skill moves, it isn't really needed, but it is lacked with the card, but in terms of the cons with the card, I've got stamina, which is an issue towards the back end of the game, because if you hold that right trigger all game long, he's going to run out of stamina, he's making runs in behind defences, he's making smart runs, he's not making idiotic runs, but at the same time, his stamina will deplete throughout the course of the game, and of course, uh, well, I say of course, Fluid movement, which did surprise me because sometimes he felt a bit robotic. And when you look at his stats, 86 agility should not feel robotic whatsoever. 74 balance, however, does that play a part? I'm not too sure. But um, the fluid movement just isn't there with the cards. So that's what I mean by fluid movement. If you're wondering what that means, it means like... Uh, and not like an insignia or someone like that. That's just crazy, like, fluid movement where you can just skip through challenge after challenge after challenge. But, um, yeah, Van Basten is a little bit robotic from time to time in terms of his turning, which uh, it does affect the card again. So, again, that's another con. So, in terms of the cons, you've got the stamina, the fluid movement, which could be the balance. I'd put aggression in there as well because his aggression is only 52. I know his strength is 82. At the same time, he can get outpowered from time to time. And again, it's just not great having someone of this much power getting outpowered from time to time. So in terms of the overall rating then, lads, those cons will bring the rating down, but that doesn't stop him being an exceptional purchase on this game, amazing finish on this game, and just a great player in general. So he's going to get the overall rating of a 9.3. An exceptional rating, exceptional card, a great card on this game, one of the better icons I've reviewed so far, as you can see by, down by the list, uh, for the best players in the top 10 icons right below. In terms of value for coins, he's getting an 8.6 in that category. I reckon, yes, he is worth it it's somewhat. I mean, he's a prime icon, and um, you're not going to lose too much coins if you don't like him and whatnot. But at the same time... I reckon he could be a little bit cheaper. I'm not going to lie. I reckon he could be a little bit cheaper. So he's getting 8.6 in that category. Enjoyment rating. Volleys. Outstanding. If you can flick it up and volley it with Van Basten, do it all the time. If you can shoot with Van Basten, do it all the time. He's got a cracking shot on this game. And again, one of the most talented finishes I've used on this game, period. In terms of that enjoyment rating, he's getting 9.2 because I did enjoy scoring with Van Basten. And the foot champs readiness... I reckon he is ready for foot champs, getting a 10 out of 10 in that category. I, I wish I used them this weekend. I lost my first game of foot champions. Then I went on to win the following nine. So I'm nine and one right now in foot champions. Let me know your records down below. Let me know which other icons you want me to review. Again, down below. In terms of seven players, we have David Trezeguet, Ruth Van Nistelrooy, and Andrei Shevchenko. I haven't reviewed any of those, but I have used them. And uh, if you do want reviews of them, let me know. And I will purchase them. I will uh, get the gameplay for them and whatnot. And uh, review them all over again. The key pro is the finishing with Van Basten. That was, that was obvious, man. It was coming uh, a mile off. The key corner is the stamina because it is that good. Well, I say that good. Uh, that good in terms of a corner with the card because it's just um, it's shy, man. And it does affect the card towards the back end of the games. And the best camp style for me uh, would be Marksman. The top 10 icons. I've only reviewed seven so far. But um, we're going to try and crack 10 by like the end of the week or something. So we've got Proif, Eusebio, Stoichkov, Van Basten, Socrates, Rivaldo, and Rabin. Beto Baggio. Lads, if there's anyone else that you do want to see reviewed, simply drop them in the comment section below. I'm not just doing icons right now, by the way. If there's any other players that you do want to see reviewed, again, suggest them in the comment section below and leave a nice suggestions. Don't say, review this guy or I unsub this, that, the other. Just be nice, man. 
Be nice. What's there to be angry about, man? I'm just, um, I'm supplying you content. I'm trying to give you a smile every single day. I'm trying to just be positive. And I hope you guys are being positive as well in the comments down below. And lads, that's going to be it for this review. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, bring the bloody hype. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And as always, lads, I will catch you all next time.